Well, hello everyone, and here I am with another LEGO Movie 2 set review, and this one is on Sweet Mayhem's Seister Starship. So, on the front of the box here, you see LEGO logo, LEGO Movie 2 logo, they have a neat new border of which, and then picture of the set in action, and sticker roll included, and age recommendation 9 and up, set number 70830, and has 502 pieces. And flip to the back and see all the main features of it and of course the thing with the stickers like in the trailer and spoiler of sweet mayhem and, and yeah and on to the booklet same pictures on the front and everything but and on the back went on the online survey and unfortunately no advertisements for any of the other sets Except for those smaller sets that I previously just reviewed, you know, yeah. but whatever. And now on to it, the mini things included in this set. First of which is Emmett. There's just about the same torso and leg printing as in most of the other Lego Movie 2 sets. And also, but with, an, with another double side face. I um, can't remember if it were in some of the other sets. So if, you, if any of you know from my other reviews, tell in the comments. And next up, we have Warrior Lucy. Oh, it's Similar to that of the, from in the Ultra Caddy set, but except has, you know, with the brown uh, pants print and all. And also the same exact, but also the hair and goggles combination piece, which kind of neat. And also yellow hand, you know. Color wise, about the same as in the uh, Ultra Caddy Warrior Lucy set, except for the face print. And last but not least is Sweet Mayhem herself. Okay. And of course, this is probably the first time mini things and mini dolls have collided together or appear in sets together. And while her printing, her torso, arm, and leg printing, of which done pretty well. And of course, the helmet of which pretty cool. And if you look to the back, of which you can see the wing pieces duly molded in like a white and trans light blue. But it's, and of course, little speckles in the blue tone, pretty neat. And if you don't want to see any her face print, just fast forward through this video. And a little spoiler three, two, one and also you yeah, have this hair piece and then I don't know if you can notice that the eyes of which kind of oddly shape on form as you can tell but kind of interesting and also the like hair piece which, with, with where it's soft rubber and also it's all metallic and all pretty cool which is kind of cool but yeah and also what you get with the helmet is a cylinder piece to like fit into it and let her hold and, but yeah also what you get is some little blue flame pieces <coughs> to be her uh, thrust and all. But I don't know if you can notice in this video, but they also have little speckles in them. Kind of interesting. And yeah. And I guess that is about it. Oh, and also what you get are the like little shape 
characters. Player's heart, which in the trailer says hello, and then blows up something. But the base piece of which, all new. Like, definitely could be useful for heart mocks and stuff. And also the little star guy, as with a 2x2 two two tile as the face and as the as this back part, which can fit onto four studs. And of course, always saying, oh, but pain. But, and of course, this one is also seen in the poly bag of that scene. <coughs> Last up is the side stem starship itself. Which is kind of interesting is of what the big plus is the color scheme of like white, uh, turquoise, and bright blue. So, like, major plus for the turquoise, which been reappearing in some sets. So as for the shaping here, done kind of interesting with a lot of the hot air balloon panel pieces to give it some sleekness. And, but also the like, uh, filling in those colors. And, as, and of course, got the like, uh, Nexonite slope piece done pretty well. And also on uh, the wings here, or with the long slopes. But from the back there, there's going to be inching done pretty well with the large wheel piece. And also, of course, a little sticker sheet. Pull out. But I'm not going to unwind it all, because if you see in other reviews, there's a lot of repeat from these stickers. It's from the bottom of which, is the only forms of landing gear are the two things that fold in. And also, the like, little thing that's meant for the projectile, or for the shooter. And from the top part of which, is a little thin. Also made of a lot of teal pieces, like the slope, large sloping and all. But the other side of which just about identical, but the front part of which with the, the large uh, corner pieces like we saw on the uh, modular diner set, and also this front cockpit piece, uh, let me take it off, which don't know if you can notice, but has some like holographic lining in it, kind of neat, and also as for this front cockpit area. But where it's not so much to for that, but enough space to fit Sweet Mayhem into it. Of which kind of hard to do. There's a couple little joysticks for her. And put that, and there we go. Open up this one side and, and an all new heart piece, which can fit onto just one stud, which is kind of interesting. Also helpful for mocking. And that's and also got a, a tile piece with a sticker on it, which is to that of the starship or star system that they're flying to. But it's also detachable, where underneath it is the ray guns. Also used for Sweet Mayhem's accessories. But I forgot to mention this in one of my other reviews. Is I gotta think first time using these in white. Kind of interesting. But also some more teal. Or, in, or turquoise in that color. But as the time. But also got these like. So there's a couple studs in all to fit your little characters onto it. There we go. And, uh, oh. Oops, sorry. Alright, you get it. But also as a little factor is 
do put Sweet Mayhem's uh, Thrust Boosts into it, just to, for storage. And there we go. Then flip to the other side, which also open up, and then there's which that clear paneling piece that we saw in the Star Wars AT Hauler. So can pull that down, and enough space to seat Lucy in. Well, and probably some other characters if you had them as well. It could be like held captive and all. Looks like so. What else is there to say? Not much. Oh, and also for the other feature with is press the little thing there and then it shoots out the link shoots out a little disc of which also has the little star character on it what I think would have been nice is if they also had another one of these but with the heart guy on it but yeah now on get everything around and for the final verdict So for my final verdict is I think it was a pretty good set. So of course, has often been shown in the trailers and everything, and of course you get Sweet Mayhem, which is going to be a good part, in, big part in the film. And well, but the price of which kind of atrocious. I think should have been worth a little less, but I don't know, it is what it is, I guess. But. And if you're looking for something with a lot of teal pieces, then go ahead and pick this up. And if you're looking to get it for your LEGO collection, then go ahead and pick it up. And that's it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.